I'm pretty sure I'm dying. So here's the dealio. I went home about two hours early from work last, well about an hour early from work last night because my stomach, I talked about it yesterday and I think I've talked about it in previous vlogs, but my stomach has been killing me recently and I've been having some major issues down below recently and just, my stomach is actually, it's evolved from me just having like weird symptoms to now it's actually like painful. Well, is my exposure up? Yeah, that's better. Um. And so I left work a little bit early last night because I was actually gonna go to the ER because it was hurting so bad I couldn't get any work done. Um, I was spending like the entire night in the bathroom and to no avail. Anyway, I was just in like extreme amounts of pain. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the ER and just have them stick like a blade in my stomach and then when they pulled it out, it would go <laughs> just like a bunch of gas would just be released into the wild out of my stomach. But I didn't end up going to the ER. Instead, I came home and I went to bed because I don't want to have to pay <laughs> to go to the ER. It's so expensive. I talked to my mom. I said, okay, here's what we'll do. If I still feel this way in the morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go to the ER. If not, like if I'm feeling a little bit better, let's just set up a doctor's appointment for later this week to go to. Because that'll cost significantly less than actually going to the ER. So anyway, I woke up this morning and I was feeling a little bit better. Well, I was feeling a lot better. But anyway, now that I've been awake for a little bit, it's starting to hurt again, and it's really starting to bother me again, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm, I'm contemplating going to the ER now, and just trying to get this all worked out because I really don't feel well. I really don't feel well, but I, I went online and I was looking for like homemade remedies, that I can do in order to help me feel better. And um, the number one on the list was dinosaur chicken. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's probably a terrible idea, like with the stomach issues I've been having to have like dinosaur chicken right now, but I'm going to anyway, because this stomach issue ain't gonna stop my life. Okay, I'm still gonna eat my dinosaur chicken, Kira. You go with that? You don't care, okay. I'm not sure what the plan is for today, <laughs> to be completely honest, because I'm not sure what I'm gonna feel up to doing or what I'm actually gonna go do. I definitely have to go to work tonight. There's no calling in from work because I just I have to. I took a four day weekend, those were vacation days though. So I mean, I was allowed to do that and everything, but then I went home a little bit early last night and I just don't wanna, I built up a lot of goodwill there and I think the people there really trust me and, and like me a lot. And I, you know, I'm kinda on the fast track to um, potentially another promotion right now. And the last thing I'm gonna do is screw that up. So we'll see. We'll see what, what's going down and what's going on, but for now, I'm going to eat, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how I feel after that. Step by step, we'll, uh, we'll play by ear. So I went to the mailbox, and I was kind of hoping to find my watch, and first thing I see when I open this stupid mailbox, it's a picture of a watch! But it's not my watch! <laughs> wow. I, uh... <laughs> really destroyed this thing. That was just for comedic effect. It didn't mean to completely annihilate this catalog. It's trash anyway. So here's the deal. Oh, I have an appointment. Ooh, laying on my stomach like this does not feel good. I have an appointment on Friday to go see a GI doctor. GI doctor? Is that how I should refer to it? And I'm not looking forward to it. Not only is Friday my day off, I'm gonna have to go see a doctor on my day off. But it's also, the, the whole procedure is probably going to involve I'm gonna have to get probably like a colonoscopy, colonoscopy, and an in, endoctomy, endoctomy, endectomy, I don't know. Uh, one of those, and what makes it better is it's a girl, 
So I'm sure that's not going to be awkward at all. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to have to go through all that. And also, I don't want to pay for it. At least I'll be able to figure out what the heck is wrong with me. <sighs> and I'll be able to get better. Plus, it'll give me like a warm-up round for when I'm 40 and I have to go in for my first... My... <laughs> first colonoscopy. Ah! So this channel has attached to the name Flipsider Fitness, and I use that intro, the Flipsider Fitness intro, on nearly all my videos that I make. Yet, recently there hasn't really been a lot of fitness stuff on here, and there never really has been an overabundance of it, but coming up soon, uh, there is going to be a bit of a shift to the videos, and a bit of a shift to the channel towards a more fitness bent, but that is coming. It's actually a lot of things, guys, that, that I'm really trying to gear up to do, um, that's probably going to be starting more around January, the beginning of the year, because this mystery thing that I've been talking about uh, wanting to do and wanting to save up for is uh, is coming up and that's why I'm trying to get all this stuff out of the way with my my teeth and with my uh, laser eye surgery and ugh, whatever medical stuff is gonna be coming up with this weekend all this is in preparation for something uh, something kind of exciting and something cool I don't really want to talk about just in case it doesn't you know pan out or anything but uh, I will be letting you guys in on that soonish but um yeah lots lots of new fun stuff coming up uh, that I'm really excited to, to show you guys but Today, we are gonna work out. I'm gonna work out my garage for the first time in a long time, mostly because my stomach still kinda bothered me a little bit and I didn't wanna go to the gym and I don't even know how long I'm gonna work out. But I'm gonna do a workout that I haven't done in a long time. Okay, so what I'll do, it's a 30 minute burnout session uh, with flat bench. So I'll set the bench up and I'll put a certain amount of weight on it and then I'll do as many reps of that as I can in 30 minutes. And every time I'm able to accomplish 100 reps in 30 minutes, I go up five pounds. So I started at 135 pounds on March 8th. I did this every two weeks for a couple months and I was able to do 80 reps. And since I didn't get to 100 that time, I did it again on March 21st and I got 105 reps. And so, and then two weeks later, I went up five pounds since I hit that 100 rep mark. And so, it was a way for me to gauge my uh, my progress for a long time, and I got all the way up to 155 pounds on June 11th, and I did it 108 times. And so now, I'm just gonna do the next step. I'm gonna do 160 pounds and see how many reps I can bust out in 30 minutes. I'm going to venture that it's not gonna be that much because I haven't been working on much, uh, working much on my muscular endurance as much as my strength recently. So I know I'll be able to rep 160 pretty easily for the first couple sets, but. After that, I'm not really sure how long that's going to sustain. So, anyway, that's going to be the workout today. Short and sweet, just 30 minutes. And, uh, hopefully my stomach doesn't explode and I, uh, am able to talk to you guys again after this clip. So let's get to it! <laughs> so I was about to start that workout, but, uh, as soon as I finished my warm-up, my body was like, No, wait, no, me first. Uh, and so I just had to use the restroom and I feel like my stomach's about to explode. <laughs> But we're gonna do this and we're gonna get 100 reps. We're gonna do it because I'm not gonna go through all this pain and not get to that 100 reps after all this time. <laughs> after all this time and the amount of effort this is gonna take to do this workout in the first place, I ain't stopping until I get my 100 reps today. I don't care if it takes more than 30 minutes. We're gonna get it done. Here we go, for real. Starting out with 15 reps. Good start. Ten reps on the second set. 
We're gonna try to get 10, one more for the third set. And then it's probably gonna start going downhill from there. <laughs> Three minutes, 20 seconds in, at 25 reps. It's a good start. So, I weighed as soon as I woke up yesterday morning. 154 pounds. <laughs> what? With all I've been eating and all the working I've been doing, like I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger. My lips are going up and up. I'm not gaining any weight. And I know because I'm not getting nearly enough carbs in my diet, I need to be hitting a lot more carbs than I'm currently hitting Woo! if I want to actually gain weight. But it's good to see the strength. The strength is there. So this is five pounds more than I currently weigh right now. So. Oh man, okay. So we are six minutes in, and we have done 35 reps. We're gonna try to get to 50 before we hit 18 minutes left on the timer, so it's 15 more reps. And that'll set us up nicely for the second half. Second half of the workout is always the hardest, just because you're dead by the end of it. But I really need to stop talking to you guys and focus on, focus on task at hand. My fourth set. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. All right, less talking, more recovery. That puts us at 60 reps, 40 reps to go, 16 and a half minutes. minutes left. This is where I need to focus in. Bust as many as I can, so I'm gonna stop moving the camera. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna focus. What have I done? Eight sets? Come on. Oh.
is my count for us. I'm at 97. We got this. One hundred, wait. One hundred, with a minute to go. Let's see how many more. There we go, 101 reps, 160 pounds in 30 minutes. Ah, let's add that to our chart. Man, I was feeling really good at the beginning, guys. You know, towards the end there, I really was starting to question how much more I really had in the tank because I was, oh, this camera's heavy. I, well, this last like 25 or so were absolutely brutal. But guys, it would have been easy for me to stop and to just say, well, I did pretty good, 93, 94, that's good. After, you know, not doing this specific workout for like three months. So I could be happy with that, but because it's about pushing yourself to the very, very limit. Not just getting to like the 100, but then going the one step further. I mean, you've already reached your goal. You've already progressed and done what you need to do in order to move on. But it's about putting that extra effort in to make yourself better. Now obviously I'm talking about this workout, but I'm also talking about whatever it is in life that you're doing. Don't just do it to get it done. Don't just do as much as you have to do in order to, to move on or to complete your goal, but put everything you have, guys, into everything that you do and make yourself better. Put in that extra effort to be the very, very best that you can be. Be your best at school. Be your best at work. Be your best in your workouts. Be your best in your relationships, guys. It's putting in that little bit of extra effort when you feel like you have nothing left and you've already accomplished your goal, putting that little bit more in is what's gonna build you mentally and grow you as a person when you have the discipline to take a couple more steps when you feel like you can't take any more. Whew! <laughs> and the feeling of accomplishment when that's all said and done is pretty, pretty stinking awesome, guys. What time is it? 7.30, and I'll probably go, go make dinner and uh, make lunch for work and uh, get, get ready to go, but I'm gonna finish the workout. Gotta take a picture for Instagram today, which I haven't done, and uh, whew, catch my breath. <laughs> Woo. I cannot wait to get my eyes fixed. <laughs> Never have to look for my glasses again. You know, the worst part about having glasses is when you're trying to take a nap or something, but you're also kind of watching TV. Because you can't nap with your glasses on, like have your head on the side and it's like push your glasses and can't see, so you either have to choose to be blind and try to just listen to the TV or just not pay attention. It's just a pain. It's just a pain. Or if you're like cuddling or something and your glasses will hit or your head will like lean up against your face and just knocks your glass. You're like, oh, that's this really is ruins the moment. Okay, so I so excited because you know I have so much time to take naps and so much people to cuddle with. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Great. So I was talking a little bit earlier about how I haven't put on any weight and how I need to be eating more carbs. What I need to be doing is going back to eating more rice. As you can see, I have a lot of rice here that I used to before, when I actually got up to like the heaviest I've been, which is like 164 uh, last summer, I was eating rice and chicken every single day, like twice a day. And I need to get back to doing that, but I just haven't made the time to cook rice. It doesn't take very long to cook rice, but I just haven't done it. And I need to get back to doing that if I want to actually put on weight, but I've been really happy with the gains I've been making recently, and it's been kind of nice being able to 
get stronger and to improve in a lot of areas without having to put on a ton of weight, but I do want to, I haven't really started a bulk yet because I want to document the whole thing, which is why I haven't done it yet, and I don't think I'm going to start that documentation process till later this year, maybe January, which is the whole purpose why I haven't really officially started the bulk, but that should be coming soonish. Oh man, I'm sore already. Hi. Did you like your dinner? Did you like your dinner? The dog has now been fed. The Jacob has now been fed. My lunch is ready. I'm gonna go to work a little bit early today just because I left early yesterday. I don't wanna, whew, but I'll tell you what, my stomach is already bothering me again. Uh, I was able to use the restroom before my workout and then I was focused on the workout, you know, and just focus more on everything my chest and my shoulders and my triceps burning. I'm already starting to feel the rumblies in this stomachal area again, so hopefully that goes away, or hopefully at least I can get rid of it, hopefully at some point tonight. But I'm gonna head to work oh, real quick. I asked Monty, I was at the store with Monty uh, not too long ago, and we were just doing my grocery shopping, and uh, I forgot peanut butter, so we were in line, and I asked him if he could run back and grab some peanut butter for me, and so I asked him to get the reduced fat, and he was like, oh, okay, I bought peanut butter with Monty so many times, so many times, and I always get the Skippy uh, reduced fat smooth peanut butter. He comes back with Jif crunchy <laughs> peanut butter. Which is the complete opposite of what I always get, but I was like, ah, whatever, you know, peanut butter's peanut butter, but that's what was funny. But I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Whoa, blurry. Okay, here we go. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of you guys on the flip side.